What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, Next Gen 7 20, and I'm back with another video. I'm in here talking to my bro behind the scene, Showstopper. Get in shot your stuff out, show. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Showstopper. Showstopper. Of... Anyway, like I said, I, I'm just getting home. I've been out all day fucking you ponies' grandmothers. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. It's like, nah. Um, and um, like I said, I've been out the house all day today, and... um. I'm sitting here, like, I know, you know, I know Secret Titanfall launched last week. And then in the UK, it, the Xbox One received a $100 price cut. And it, they also, not only did they receive a $100 price cut, they also bundled it with Titanfall. And it says here on, on you know, Eurogamer that Titanfall boosts Xbox phones by nearly 96%. Well, not nearly, it says by, well, nearly 100%. They boosted sales by 96% in the UK. And like I said, the UK is Microsoft's biggest market outside of North America. Now, a lot of people confuse, not to sleep, confuse the UK with Europe. Europe is a whole continent. The UK is a country, England, inside of Europe, okay? But like I said, to put this in uh, perspective, said so the release of Titanfall boosts Xbox sales, sales sorry, by a whopping 96% in the UK compared to the console sales the previous week. Respawn's PC and Xbox One shooters, the UK's best-selling game as expected, and it's the biggest release of 2014 so far, with more than double the sales of what have been 2014's currently, which is FIFA. You know, so no, FIFA's huge in Europe, period, you know what I mean? Um, and it says here the Xbox 360 version will be released in a couple of weeks. Um, even have some more numbers here. The eye catching uh, 399 pounds. The Xbox One Titanfall bundle, which includes a downloaded token for the game, accounted for over 7%, I'll repeat, 70% of all Xbox One hardware sold last week. God damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they said they big. haven't given us any official numbers here, but, you know, um, look for, like I said, the, the the Xbox One to be the type selling console in the UK next week. So this is huge. I can't, like I said, I'll be surprised if the Xbox One don't sell... Total, maybe uh, a, hundred, a million units, you know what I mean? Maybe, like I said, for the month of March. What, what, what do you think about this show? think it's possible? I, I think it's possible. I mean, you know, if you look at the that all the people that did not go out and, and purchase an Xbox One right now because they was waiting for uh -huh. a game like Titanfall. So, you know, here's their reason, and they're showing it in the U.K. right now. Yeah, like I said, this is like a game. Like I said, damn, up 96%. Now... <laughs> Now, seriously, it's a big deal. Remember, like I said, I, I gave the Wii U owner shit, I remember. Like, I'm going to keep it real. I gave them shit when they, you know, when... I, I forgot what the fuck happened. They, they, the, the Wii U uh, uh, they received the price cut or something. They were saying that the, the sales on Amazon was up 5,000%. But they was, the, the, the Wii U and the Amazon was only selling like 100 consoles a week. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And they, they still, I think, yeah. for, the, for the sales for the Wii U came that week were like 10K or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, right. like I said, the Xbox One sales were lagging behind in the UK, behind the PlayStation 4, you know what I mean? But, like I said, this is huge, though, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. and like I said, it'd be interesting if Microsoft can keep up this momentum, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's gonna be the key thing, if they can keep up, this, they can ride this thing on out, you know what I mean? Uh, what, it, it, what, what it, what's coming out in April? Is anything big coming out in April that, that we know? Uh, only thing, only thing coming out in April is, um, what's that, um... Dang, the Connect Sport Rivals. Connect okay, Sport Rivals another, is coming out. I, I looked at the I looked at the pre order. I think it was about two hundred thousand pre orders or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Connect Sports Rivals will be out and um the way they uh changing uh integrating you and putting you as a character inside the the game, I think that's gonna just I have change. Not played the demo. Have you played the demo? I have played the demo and it's All fun. Right. Me and my uh family we played it on Thanksgiving. Yeah. And I had my mother in law over here. And she, man, she was turning all crazy. We just laughing at it. It's a good family game. It yeah. really is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Or should I, you know, or it's crazy as hell. Maybe that may be the first game I'll let my low ass play. Every time I take it game, it's crazy. Every time I take it to GameStop, man, she uh -huh. uh, she picks up the uh, the South Park. Uh, Dad, I want to play this game. And uh, the reason no. why, you know, you know she, she got a little uh, iPad. Man, come here with your iPad. Come here. Come here with your iPad. Let me see your iPad. Come here. Bring me an iPad. And she she was showing her iPad now. And she found one of those South Parks. Uh, I guess, you know, hello ass really be surfing on fucking YouTube, though. Excuse my French. Like, she really be on YouTube. And she was playing um uh, a video of someone playing 
uh, South Park. And I said, oh, right. hell no. But it was the crazy part because they were sticking the dildo. Uh, was, they, get, they got abducted by aliens. And they had the one of the little cartoon characters on the table. And they was getting this fucking dildo shoved in there. I said, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> so hell no. You know what I mean? Like, they should shout yeah, you out. You be careful. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wow, they got this shit on YouTube. And, and believe it or not, all people was playing the video. It was BG. She found one yeah. of the BG videos. It's like, damn, that's crazy. They be playing that part in the rumors that they're saying about him being, you know, a little whatever. You know what I mean? That's crazy yeah. as hell. That's another story in this entirety. <laughs> but, but anyway. But you know yeah. what I, I found amazing about what's going on in, 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 in the UK? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they said it's FIFA big. It's bigger than FIFA right now. Yeah, uh, That's yeah. how bad it's selling over there. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you, and, and if FIFA you, is huge yeah, over if, there. If you guys don't know, FIFA is the number one selling sports selling title across the world. You know, I mean, FIFA is not as big here in North America. I'm not saying this, you know, this does low numbers, but we call it soccer across the globe. They call it football. That's their football. football. Yeah, that's that's their big football. in South Africa, Africa, China, everywhere, Mexico, yep. Chile, France. That's the sport. Right. That's the number one sport across the globe. It ain't that big here in North America, but all across the globe, fucking uh, soccer, FIFA is the shit. And like I said, it's out selling that. So like I said, this is going to be huge. You know what I mean? This gonna is going to be huge. You know, I, I, like I said before, I didn't think this game would be as big as it is. And all the hype, you know, behind is crazy. My grandmother asked me, they would tell us Titanfall. My grandma's my fucking 86 <laughs> years old. I swear, with everything that's righteous in my life, she asked me, what's Titanfall? Uh, and like I said, yeah. it, it, like this game is, like I said, it's trendy. It, 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 what do you think? It can be bigger than Call of Duty? Do you think it has to be, uh, it can be bigger as Call of Duty? It, 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 it has the potential of being bigger than Call of Duty. Yeah. You know, Call of, Call of Duty, you know, for us, for us this being a, a new launch title, um, it's got a big buzz around it. And I like the way Microsoft went out and promoted this game. They did. I mean, they, they, the way they promoted this game is what's making it yeah. big time. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they get enough credit for how they produce their... Uh, Triple A exclusives. Yeah, um, yeah, but they push they this game it? out. How they promote their Triple A exclusives? Yeah, they why they promote it? Yeah, so you know it's 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 nice, you know, well, like said, and that's what's selling it right now. Yeah, yeah, like I said, Microsoft, so, like you know, it's crazy not to get off topic a little bit. A lot of people are saying they don't think it's likely because the rumor of Resident Evil being maybe being exclusive for the Xbox One. I and mm -hmm. I say it's hard to be like I said being a, a good, it's a win win for Capcom. A, it it, it yeah. cost Capcom a dime for promotion. None of that shit. Mm -hmm. Microsoft would take away all that shit and have that shit plastered on every billboard anyway all across the world. You know what I mean? But anyway, like I said, I just bring you a little, a little bit of a bit of news here about the um, <laughs> Xbox One sales up ninety six percent in the UK, man. You know what I mean? Good news, man. Like I said, this is good for gaming. Period. You know what yeah, I mean? That's that's real talk. This is good for gaming. Period, man. You know whether you you your Sony do, whether your Nintendo do. This is growth for the industry, man. Real talk, man. But anyway, yeah, man. They, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. You something to say? Add it. I, I, I was saying, like, you know, they, they were sitting here saying that console uh, gaming was dead. And, you know, it's it's still live and breathing. Oh, hell yeah. With numbers like that. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hell <laughs> still yeah. live and breathing. Hell yeah. Like I said, I was, if they can ride that wave out to E3 and give yeah. a big announcement in E3. See, that was crazy, you know. I wish... They would have had not had, but you know, I wish they would have had a another. You got Titanfall in March, but that's gonna be popping probably for at least the April, or whatever. Then give us something big. Well, you said they got Connect Sports. What else? Yeah, uh, Connect uh, Sports uh, rival gonna be. It's gonna be big. Yeah. What else? What else did they hit? I know. What, 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 oh, we get uh, supposed to be um, the story mode and all that shit for Killer Instinct this month Killer also. Instinct, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean, but you know that's gonna be huge too. Oh, that much the Xbox. Not then it, no um, is it in May? Uh, Watch Dogs come out. Yeah, May. Watch Dogs May. Yeah, you Watch know Dogs May. May. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's some big, it's, and that's supposed to be uh, thirty to forty hours. Yeah, close to a hundred hours. So that's that's value you know, in man, that game. And you know what? Which it was crazy as hell. Um, my and I'm gonna be real. My whole disinterest. What I don't like about Grand Theft Auto, I don't know if you hate it for this, it's just too much to do. I like to stay on the fucking story. Like, uh, the last game I completed like that was L.A. North. And I like right. the fact, I don't like all that fucking drive. I like the fact I kind of got in the car, I think I hit the A or the yellow button, and it took right. me straight to my next mission. You know what I mean? Right. I, I just hate all that side jobs. Let me do the story low. If I want to go back and double track, I can. I hope we can just keep me on it straight and narrow. Let me just complete the motherfucking um, story. They, you know they said it was 100 hours just if you're doing everything. Yeah, yeah, you but know what I mean? 30 to 40 hours if you're just staying on, on the story mode, that's, that's value. 
Yeah, I'm about to. That's, that's uh, big value. Uh, 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 shit. Uh, but well, like I said, this is a big month for gaming too. You got Titanfall. You got metal. Yeah. You picking up the metal. Yo, this metal gets beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. that's going. Good, a lot of good rotation games, man. Yeah. Like you said, you still ain't finished Strider and yeah, I still some got of the other little games. Like I said, uh, you know? I said I, it's been like I, I blame myself. I've been very, 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 very busy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Been very, very busy. You know what I mean? Uh, been yeah. running and gunning. You know what I mean? I, I got something big I'm going to tell you guys about. I wanted to talk about things before they happen. Uh, right. But anyway, like I said, I still ain't finished Titan Foam. I, I, I hopped on last night for a couple hours. You know what I mean? But um, But yeah, but anyway, man. Um, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, we may have another video coming on. We're going to talk about what's going on in Facebook with these rabbit ass fanboys, man. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's going to be a podcast. It might be some straight talk, but it's some real shit that needs to be addressed real in this community yeah, because talk. honestly, it's giving gamers a black eye, period. You know what I mean? It's real talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're real but anyway, this is your boy, Next Gen 720 Games. You know, full year closing out. Um, showstopper. Uh, this is your boy, Showstopper. Holla at me. Oh. Peace. All right, we out of here, man. I'm about to hop on this motherfucking metal gear.